Okay, uh, seem to have finished everything here. It's all looking pretty good, ready to roll. Just um, one thing I'm not quite sure of is whether this hypothesis is really hypothesis-y enough. It, it has some sort of statement of the expected relationship between independent and dependent variables, but uh, I'm not really sure. So I'm just going to follow Chris's instructions and highlight that and set a comment. So, Hi Chris, not really sure if this qualifies as a hypothesis. I think it's about right, but I'm not really sure. Okay, off we go. Okay, I've got an email here from Tristan. What's he got to say? Okay, so this is on his Google document. Okay, so, so what you can see is the text in grey is the text that he's highlighted in his document and the text in black is the comment he's placed within that document. So I can read this effectively as a preview in my email. I can see that he's actually asking me a question. So I need to go to Tristan's document and address that question. So by clicking the link in the email, I can go straight to the document. So, okay, so Tristan's obviously highlighted something he wants some feedback on and asked me a specific question about that feedback. I've got a couple of different options, so I can either select and make comments of my own in the document, or I can just directly reply to his comment. In this case, I'm going to directly reply to his comment. I'm going to say, Hi Tristan. So Tristan's hypothesis is not bad, but rather than just talking about change, we wanted to talk about whether each of those values gets larger or smaller. Once I do that, I'll hit reply. I can see Tristan's actually still in the document. Okay, that was pretty quick. It looks like Chris has responded to my query. This looks okay so far. Oh, okay, right, so I can make that modification and I can do that right away as the capacitance is increased the smoothness of the output will also increase increasing smoothness, I'm not sure I suppose that's alright the amount of ripple current will decrease Not desk grease. <laughs> and uh, looks like Chris is. Oh. Looks like Chris is also commented on this, basically confirming what I already thought, which was that this was pretty good already. So I can just click resolve and uh, it goes away for now. But I'll remember it. Okay, looks like another email from Tristan, uh, another one from Oliver. So I might just uh, look at Tristan's first and see what Tristan's got to say. Okay, so he's replied to a few of the comments in his document. He's resolved that comment, so I don't need to go and do anything about that. And okay, so he's replied to this one. I might just go and just give him confirmation that that is actually okay. Looks okay so far. Let's go see what he says. Okay, so he thinks that covers. Let's have a look. This capacitance is increased, so he's making a specific change. The smoothness of the output will increase. The ripple current will decrease. That looks nice and specific. I'll just reply. Oops. Let's not edit Christian Christian's document. All right. So that all looks okay there, and the other one was resolved. So we're good to go. Okay, looks like Chris has gotten back to me. Looks good. Okay, well, I suppose I can't hope for better than that. I thought it might be fantastic, but anyway. Uh, so if I click on that, I can mark it as resolved. Um, and I get that he'll get a notification that that thing is settled. Now, I thought before he made some comment on my 
on my risk assessment, so I just can't remember what it was. I don't think it was significant in any way other than saying how great it was, but um, if I want to go back and just verify that or prove it to someone else, I can hit this, this button up here to get a full comment history. And so there it is. So nice risk assessment. And I marked it as resolve.